vital records. In this video, I will cover vital records. Vital records are all those records irrespective of their archival value that an organization needs both during an emergency and after an emergency. They are all those records that an organization needs to recover its operations during an emergency and after an emergency having recovered its operations to carry out its day-to-day -day operations. Vital records are of two types. The first ones are called the emergency operating records. Emergency operating records are the records required by the fire and safety person during the emergency and the agency to carry out its recovery operations. So we have the emergency operating records used by the fire and safety personnel and for the recovery operations. The other vital records are the rights and interests records. Rights and interests records are those records that are essential to maintain the rights and interests of the organization and the rights and interests of the people towards whom the organization has responsibility. How does an organization start off identifying its vital records? We go back to the business process mapping that we had carried out prior to conducting a business impact analysis. Every business unit, every department has certain business processes. These processes are further broken down into tasks and activities. What the organization needs to do is approach each business process owner and further drill down to the activity owner and the task owner and identify as to what all documents or records are needed by the person in charge of the task or activity to execute his or her task. Having done that the organization can then build up a list of all the vital records that it needs both to operate and also to recover. Three points which come up are firstly not all records are vital. Typically it will range between 2 to 10 percent for an organization. Second, a record that is vital today may cease to be vital tomorrow. For example, a patent, once it loses its life, it ceases to be vital. A marketing strategy for launch of a new product. The new product is a hush hush, the marketing strategy is a secret, that's a vital record. Once the product has been launched, this record ceases to be of that vital importance. And the third thing is, it's not black and white. Records are not vital and non-vital. They could be vital, important, useful, and non-essential. So as I said, records could be vital, important, useful, and non-essential. Vital records are those records that the organization cannot do without. If it needs to survive, it needs these. Important records are those records that could be recovered, but they would involve considerable 
morning and time useful records are those records that would cause inconvenience to the organization a minor inconvenience and they are recoverable and non essential records are those records that an organization creates which do not have a utility than the very reason for the creation we go to each department we go to the various people in those departments and they classify the records into vital important useful and non essential having done that the organization then needs to create a strategy for preservation of its vital records there are two kinds of strategies the first one is duplication and dispersal duplication and dispersal and the second is on site storage in duplication and dispersal the organization creates a duplicate record for all its vital records and then either stores them at a separate location or has a professional off-site service vendor storing them points to remember is the security classification of the duplicate record irrespective of where it is stored should be the same as that of the primary record at the primary location next is the duplicate records need to be stored in the same condition as the primary record and third and most important is since we know that records have a life cycle and they cease to be vital after a period of time there should be a check kept as to what are the vital records which are kept off site and an audit done to devitalize and destroy the records that are no longer vital that is duplication and dispersal strategy the other strategy an organization can is on site storage in this the organize the records are kept in a fireproof safe a vault or a file cabinet these equipment are rated in terms of how long can they be exposed to a fire before the contents inside start getting affected so maximum exposure to the fire they are also classified based on the maximum temperature of the contents or the inside of the equipment that would be reached when it is exposed to a fire the third thing in this is records like electromagnetic media hard drives cd roms microfilms photographic plates they are have a tendency to deteriorate with not only exposure to fire or to high temperatures but also to humidity levels the nfpa the national fire protection agency has laid down standards for preservation and protection of the various media paper if kept in a safe if the safe reaches the inside of the safe reaches a high temperature the paper inside could get charred so we have to ensure that these equipments of fireproof safe vaults or file cabinets are firstly fireproof next is they should be waterproof too in addition to that the humidity inside should not rise beyond a late down percentage and thirdly they should also be shatterproof the reason being is let's assume that this vault is on the 6th floor or 7th floor of a building and the building collapses if the vault is not shatterproof the contents inside it would get destroyed on the other hand if this vault were on the basement and the building collapsed on the top of it that too would affect it so 